All right, so uh, that's Cookie Fondo is in the books. It's done. Um, I'm gonna say it. This was the best one yet. Now this I've never had like a video from the Cookie Fondo, and the reason for that is I you know the way I make videos I walk around with a selfie stick or a camera person kind of following me. I'm not gonna do that at the Fondo. The the Cookie Fondo is the day that you know there's a thousand people there, and uh, and all respect to you folks, I gotta hang out with them. But I but I also don't want to do a thing where like hey. Uh, Here's three videos about how cool the Fondo is going to be, and then two weeks from now, like, here's the next thing. So I want to close the chapter and, and share the Fondo experience. So the way I'm doing that this year is uh, kind of a little bit like the wedding video. Um, there will be a creature cam, but uh, I, I got a great photographer, Harrison Alpert, and uh, my video guy, uh, Mitch Boyer. We've done some videos together. Uh, so he, he filmed some stuff from his ride, and I'm just going to talk about it, and hopefully you can come out uh, and enjoy it next year. If not, you know, you can just watch it vicariously and, like, heat up a cookie now, and just eat a cookie while you watch, and that's it's close. Day one, there's there's two routes. Uh, that one started at the, the Wizen Center, which is in Agora Hills, a little, like, cool little shopping center. Um, so we had the registration area. If, if you signed up for Sunday, you could pick up your packet and dodge the lines on Saturday. So folks did that. Uh, the rides were shorter that, that day. It's like there's like a 35 mile option, mile option and a 55 or 40, something like that. Whatever it is, there's, it's, it's not super long, but the climbing's real. I think, I think it's like over 5,000 for the longer route that day, um, especially if you're not from here. Uh, there's, there's plenty of hills, um, plenty of cookies, plenty of aid stations. Uh, Reggie Miller joined us this year, which was awesome. It's important for, for an LA event, it's important to have uh, a celebrity uh, attraction. What I want to do is just have an aid station at Chin Chin in Hollywood, one of the paparazzi spots. Um, but that's way out of the way off course. So instead, we have to try to get them to come to the Fondo. But we do have, it's, it's going well. I like, I like how it's working. Aside from like, we always have a couple pro cyclists show up. Um, this year, Reggie Miller was on the start line. That folks got a kick out of that. Also, you can't miss him. He's six 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 seven. That, no one makes me look lankier or shorter than Reggie Miller. Um, but uh, we also had uh, Mike Dimkich, my buddy. I've done videos with him before. But he's in bad religion. He like that's a big deal. Um, uh, Michael Muni, the my actor buddy, I also ride with a lot. Um, Susan Ashby is uh, she's important. She we went to the same high school, uh, but she's. Uh, she, you've, you'd recognize her from TV. She she did a lot of other stuff, but the one that you'll remember that I, I, I hope that she's not mad is the one I mentioned, but she played the Mulva on Seinfeld. Remember when you didn't know the girl's name or rhyme with the female, it, you thought it was Mulva? That was her. Uh, she rides bikes, she's the best. Um, we also had Paul Ripka made an appearance. I didn't even know Paul was gonna be there. Paul, we did a video together uh, uh, a year ago now, but uh, he showed up with Rick Zobel, which was cool. Uh, I raced with Rick Zobel, so they just snuck in and paid an entry fee and didn't tell me and snuck out. And apparently Rick, like, the, the story I heard from riders was that he would like pass you on the climb and then I'd pull over and he'd cheer folks on. Uh, very in spirit with the Cookie Fondo from a guy, I didn't have to coach him, you don't tell him how it works. Um, Cookie Fondo is not a race, it's never been a race, but I think, I think people, you know, you get two cyclists together and they start racing. I think Fondo's devolved into races over the years and I think mine, did a good job not doing that, uh, and and people people get it this year. This is we're just gonna ride together and have a good time. Um, so so we did that day one. I think it was like 300 people, something like that. Like not huge, a a, a decent amount to go in the canyons closer to the city. I don't want a giant. I don't want a thousand people down there. That's not safe. Um, so that worked out well. Uh, we had awesome food from a, from a Mexican restaurant in the the Wizen Center. They kind of just brought out uh, a bunch of great Mexican food. Um, so that was day one. Uh, that night, we have a VIP dinner. The VIP thing, the way that works is, d well, depending on the year, we'll include the VIP registration. You get a kit, you get some extra cookie stuff. Um, sometimes we set up the hotel reservation. That's, that's part of it in, in the past. Uh, this year, hotels were kind of a mess, so you were on your own for hotels. Um, and, then you, and then the dinner's included, which is at Peddler's Fork. Uh, Peddler's Fork has also been on my channel before. This is like a really cool restaurant. It's thankfully 10 minutes from where I live. Restaurant, coffee shop, bike shop. Um, they got all these like fancy antique bikes on the wall and just a really cool place to hang out. Like perfectly adjacent, shut up Wahoo. Perfectly adjacent to my, uh, I just finished my ride and Wahoo turned off. Um, perfectly adjacent to all the good riding here. So a uh, VIP dinner there. Um, and that's kind of like, I think we have 30, 40 VIPs. So I get to like sit and talk to all those folks. Um, and kind of hang out and get to know people from people from out of town. If you're gonna, if you're local and you want to drive to do the Fondo, people do the Sunday ride. But if you're flying in, people are like, oh, I might as well add the Saturday too. 
Um, and then some of those folks also do the VIP, and it's just you don't have to make any decisions. We got dinner covered for you. Uh, VIP, we had a bunch of the folks from Matt Construction were there. Um, Matt is our title sponsor. I forget how many years now, but a, a while. Um, they're, they're a construction company in, in LA, but when I say construction, it's, it's not like you know a couple dudes with a hammer. We're talking like the big cranes and the wrecking balls and they build museums and, and you know UCLA campuses and hospitals. And like some of the coolest stuff in LA, like you can count on it being them, the whole Wilshire corridor, like the Peterson, all, all the crazy shit. They're they're really cool. So they send, they always send the like 30 riders to just from their company or, or contractors adjacent uh, Mac construction folks to, to do the ride and, and hang out at VIP theater. So that's a good chance to, to talk to them as well. Uh, and then Sunday's the main event. Sunday we had a new start location in Thousand Oaks, the Civic Arts Plaza down there. So it was cool because it was like, half an hour closer to, to LA. Folks got to sleep in a little bit, get your beauty sleep. Uh, one thing, and I said it in the in the pre-ride speech, but I don't know if the microphone was working um, and you weren't all there, but I think, you know, the the we had two years off and I think with a lot of stuff, like that gives people a chance to sort of reassess, like what 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 do you want to go back to um, that, that you're disrupted from? Um, like, you know, I, I enjoy watching movies. I haven't gone back to a movie theater. I'm not sure when I'll do that. Um, I, I know, I gotta see Top Gun. But uh, that, that kind of thing, and so it kind of made it seeing a thousand people showed up on, on Sunday um, that I, I really appreciate. I think that meant a lot to me to see like, okay, you guys all looked at it and just like, yeah, Cookie Fondo, that's, that's a thing we're doing. Um, there were a lot of riders who'd done it in the past, um, a lot of people that I, that I knew, that I recognized from the internet, uh, and then a lot of people who were new, who was, it was their first ride, like a lot of the, the COVID new cyclists uh, showed up, which was cool, like first time in a pack. All right, so Sunday's the main event. Uh, we have we have four distances. The the super long was double fudge. That's 102 miles, 11,000 feet. And I tell everyone, I'm like, this is too much. You don't want to do that route. This route is for crazy people. And every time there's a few hundred folks who want to, like, people don't want to pay for a ride that's not 100 miles, which I get it, it's fine. Uh, and once you do it, you're like, yeah, one less climb might have been enough. Um, and the chocolate chip. The chocolate chip is the perfect route. And I say the double fudge is too much of a good thing. But if you know whatever you want, you want it's available to you. So I hope the folks enjoy the double fudge. Um, they went off at eight. Uh, I, I think I got there like ten minutes before. I didn't get to see them off, um, but I got the the chocolate chip is the one I do, and that's just like my perfect ride. That's all my favorite climbs. It's it kind of sticks a little farther north, so there's not there's not. I didn't see a lot of cars. I think the Mulholland descent, like maybe I saw one car on that whole downhill. Um, but uh, we start one up Westlake Boulevard, super steep, and I kind of push the pace there to make it a little bit safer, you know, split the groups up. I don't like packs uh, in, you know, nobody likes packs. I, I, if I want to pack, I'll go race a bike. Um, but so that kind of splits it up. And then uh, one thing that's really cool about the Fondo is local, local clubs, shops, um, they all volunteer. They're like, okay, yeah, let's, you know, we want to be a part of this. Uh, we want to show up. And so we have all these aid stations and what we do is, we, uh, we drop off, we you throw them location, like here's your, here's your pin, uh, we drop off a bunch of cookies, uh, we had JoJ bars and Bonk Breaker bars this year, I also have like fruit and stuff, and then uh, First Endurance sent a, a bazillion pallets of, of EFS, so if you notice that you didn't cramp, um, that's why, but we drop off cookies, water, all that stuff, everything, and, and tables, tents, uh, and then the, the people who, who kind of man those are local clubs. Uh, there's the first one was Velo Pasadena, like one of my favorite bike shops. Also, it's like a museum in there. They have all kinds of cool old stuff. I don't think they've missed a Fondo yet. And then we have uh, other clubs. We have uh, LACBC comes out. They're like an advocacy organization. Um, and I've, I've worked with them like from volunteering and they used to organize my, my litter cleanups. Uh, so they handle an aid station. They're doing uh, an event called Bike Fest uh, early November. Um, but they're a bunch of great folks. And then otherwise, it's just like local like bike clubs. Um, so uh, LaGrange is like one of the bigger bike clubs in the US, to be honest. But they're, they're in LA um, and they're a bunch of good crews. If, you're, if you are a new rider, if you're someone who like just got into the sport, maybe you came to the Cookie Fondo and you want to do more of that stuff, um, check out the clubs that we had there and, and go join one. Like you'll, you'll make friends, they'll, you know, there's, there's education. A lot of them have like hookups at bike shops, sponsorships, stuff like that. Um, so that it's, it's totally worth that whole group. Uh, so Big Orange is there, they're South Bay mostly. 
Um, and then the Rafa, Rafa folks from there, they have a shop in Santa Monica. Um, they came out for um, UCLA uh, came out the the college club. If you can get into UCLA, it's, you'll you'll have you'll have good company on your bike rides. And of course, every year we have one featured aid station. Gooder took care of that this year. The uh, my my sunglasses sponsor. Where are they at? Um, they uh, they handle one. I mean, it's like cool location. It's by the beach, is sort of our angle. Uh, so this one was the uh, it was at Sterling Farms, which is this like vegetable stand on in Malibu, right off of PCH. Uh, so they kicked in all these little fruits and vegetables and gooder decorated with flamingos because they were insane. Uh, a bunch of people got free glasses. I'm not sure. I played cornhole. I don't know what the, there was some kind of a contest and I just, all people, all day I saw people just like, they were wearing one pair of glasses and then another one like in their shirt because what do you do with two pairs of glasses when you're riding and your pockets are full of cookies? I want an experience. I don't want you to like stop at the aid station and grab a bar and run. I want you to hang out and make friends and like, you know, maybe you got there in one group and you leave in a different group and, and you hang out with those folks. Um, everyone picked up their goodie bags. The goodie bag were this I, I mean I haven't been to every Fondo but I don't think there's been a Fondo with a cooler goodie bag than we had um, decathlon I, I think everyone's familiar with decathlon on my channel by now but all your outdoor gear all your camping like literally everything I wear that's not my my black bibs or starlight not, not my, my cycling clothes on the channel like everything contractually everything I wear is uh, is decathlon um, so all the sweatpants all the, the hiking stuff um, and just like I said, the prices the prices are insane. Just you know, it's fifteen dollar jackets that works really nice, and t shirts and everything. Um, they sent us. I mean, they sent us a thousand of these, uh, which is like a little cooler backpack, so kids can bring their their lunch. Um, I'm gonna ride to the beach with these things, uh, and then of course inside we've we've got you covered. We had uh, we got a cookie bottle. Uh, there's a cookie gator. And then uh, a mix of Phil's cookies. You're getting the theme of the whole thing. Is the Phil's cookies? This is our this is our uh, cookie mix by mail sample bag. So this one you add what is it? You just add butter and water to this one. Some of them you add an egg, but uh, but this is good to go for you. Um, and then of course chamois butter packet. The folks, if you if you if you did the whole ride and you know you're gonna have some aches and pains. Uh, if one of them wasn't your, your you-know-what downstairs region, um, you can thank them. This is just like a critical little packet that can be overlooked. I, I, keep, I keep these in my car, I keep, I keep a bottle everywhere, because uh, you just don't want to miss it, because that's, that's a bad day. Um, and then First Endurance kicked in uh, one of these. They did the hydration, but they also, uh, their, their new uh, liquid shock. Um, and then you got your number, I got number one, because I'm special. Um, I didn't wear it. I just had it in my pocket. Sometimes I have done my own fondo. You know, it's like it's it's volunteers, whatever, and they don't all necessarily know me. And sometimes they've been like, "Hey, you don't have a bracelet. Uh, you can't take a cookie at the aid station." And someone has to vouch for me that that I that I did that I am Phil. One of the later aid stations with like 40 miles to go. We have another important aid station, uh, which is which is also by the beach, but that one has iced coffee from our friends at Corsa Pro. Uh, so they had they had espresso before the ride and iced coffee after. So you're really just like buzzing home. The last, you know, there's one, well, there's two climbs left. Uh, but but the a, a big cup of cold brew uh, really takes care of it at that point. They're, they're an important component. Uh, so you do, you know, you do a bunch of climbs in Malibu. There's beautiful climbs. Uh, no, there's, uh, okay. There's difficult climbs and beautiful descents. That's how it works for most people. I just, I like climbing more than most. That's something I've had to make peace with. I no longer have, remember I used to do the, the hill climb world championship. That that event taught me, I lost money on that every time. And what I what I learned from that was that not everyone likes climbing, unfortunately, as much as I do. I had to make peace with uh, some people like to go downhill and not necessarily race up, whatever. Uh, so, so the downhills are great, the climbs are great, fun aid stations. Obviously there's cookies everywhere. I don't, I don't feel like I need to talk about the cookies, but uh, we had, we, we, it was, I think it was 7,000 cookies that we bought. One of my favorite uh, checks to write every year is the, the cookie deposit uh, for the Fonda. It's just, I don't know who else has spent nine thousand dollars on cookies I, i'm not sure what the per cookie price is but farm shop there's a they have a they have a shop in was i guess brentwood um but they you've probably if you live in la whether you've been to farm shop or not you've had their cookies because they like all the all the fancy cafes i think they make them for like alfred and every, they, they distribute so uh so they they were able just like we were like hey we need seven thousand cookies this week and they're like yeah we we got you um, I mean, you know, we paid for it, but they, they, they took care of it and they were bigger than we thought. We, we asked for a certain size and they were generous, um, which was like my, uh, Ryan, who I mentioned called me on Thursday and was like, Hey, so the, I'm, I'm seeing some of the first cookies are showing up and they're bigger than I thought. 
and I was like, he, he was concerned, and my, I quoted the wire, I was like, that sounds like one of them good problems. All right, so you have all the climbs, and then at the, at the end, uh, you go through, and the last climb, it's, I'm sorry, if you did the ride, I'm sorry. Uh, a lot of people were cursing me. Here's the thing, I, that's God's fault. I didn't put that hill there. Uh, that's, you know, the geography of whatever, and really, like, if that's the only way up other than the 101, and we're not doing that. Um, but you know, you, you all signed up for a challenge, but uh, everyone, you know, everyone made it up a trail, so people had to walk, and there's no shame in walking a 19% grade after 80 miles or whatever. Um, next year, I gotta see if decathlon will like bring some running shoes for that part. We'll, we'll, we'll talk, we'll figure that out. There's a little cool down, another like half hour, 45 minutes from top of Betrero. Obviously there's cookies in between. So you've recovered from Betrero with a cookie and then you buzz back to the finish. And, uh, and we got all kinds of awesome food there. Our, I, I, you know, I'm not gonna make claims. I have been told that our Fondo has the best food of any Fondo, which I don't think is a huge challenge because we have, but we have awesome chef partners thanks to the Chef Cycle pals. Um, but uh, yeah, we had uh, Sweet Fin Pokey, we had, um, we had Jared Simmons, who like, I had just been to his restaurant in LA. Uh, he, he's like one of the best vegan chefs in the country. So like our vegan meal is on point. Uh, we had Love Catering, which is like catering company. They do like all the movie shoots. Like they do a lot of fancy quality catering stuff. And then uh, LA Pizza Co. So if, if you weren't invited to my wedding, my apologies, but you did taste the pizza. But uh, so two like caterers and two kind of more restauranty things. And of course there, there was alcohol. Um, Dusty Nabor, his, this is like his, his fourth or fifth time donating a bunch of wine. Um, that mostly gets, gets consumed at the VIP party, I'm not gonna lie. Um, that, that party gets a little bit fun. And they're all made like kind of right here in the, in the valley. Um, Chiello Wines also kicked in uh, some stuff. So if you, if you enjoyed the wine, uh, check those out. I'll put links down for everything. But um, they, uh, and they're grown right there in Malibu. You, you pass by all these vineyards. Um, in the hills there, and that's one of them. At the finish, as you finish, uh, I mentioned the, the celebrities that we have. Uh, one of them is Frankie Andreu. Frankie, uh, Frankie and Betsy, I'm not sure how, you know, like I think my audience is, you know, maybe you're newer or younger, like for sure a lot of you know who Frankie Andreu is. Uh, if not, like a very important part of, uh, of, of cycling in the last uh, 15 years, like ending the, the EPO era. Um, and, then, and then very separately, uh, a very important part of my career. Uh, I think his first, so he was blackballed because he was like, yeah, we were all doing EPO, including Lance. And Lance was like, no, you're not. You can never work again. And that worked for like a bunch of years with Frankie. Uh, and his first job back uh, was was directing Kenda Pro Cycling, which was like one of the first teams that, that I was on um, when, I was, when I was a young pup. So Frankie like got me into my first, you know, winning races and teaching me what the heck to do. He's into announcing now. Uh, Honestly, one of the best in the business. Really cool, like people, you know, he also like announces at the Tour de France and stuff like that, or he has in the past, and, and people fin cross the finish line, and he, I'm, I'm not, no pressure next time, Frankie, but I, I think he says everyone's name as they cross the line. He, he sees the numbers, and everyone gets to hear Frankie and Dre say their name, which like to a certain generation, that's, that's pretty sweet. Um, of course, we also had beer at the finish. Uh, Sky Duster is a, they're, they're local. It's, it's a couple of the, the Chef Cycle guys. Um, and I, I think it's already blowing up. I'm seeing them in a bunch of restaurants. Uh, and like, I'm also not a beer guy, but after a hot ride, I, I get it. And I, I might have had, I think I had three. Like you hang out, you know, you finish, and then and then I, I stayed until like the last riders finished and then kind of helped pack up the, you know, we got like trucks and things to unload. And um, I, I hung out for all that. So, and, and beers were consumed and, uh, and they were delicious. And my whoop was in the red the next day, but it was gonna be anyway. Uh, we also, we did have uh, some awesome vendors and, and other sponsors who, who came and had booths and whatnot. Um, these are my own sponsors. So that's the 12-speed the guys, the, the garage door clickers, they're local as well. Uh, the bar and garage door, I did that video. Um, we had uh, Velofix Los Angeles. Uh, they sent a bunch of trucks out. And I heard stories all day from like several people, I, I gotta get to the bottom of this, but who said that, uh, that someone broke a spoke like 10 minutes before their start and showed up at Velofix and it wasn't like he had the spoke, like he, he cut it and made it in time and she made the start. Um, there might've been multiples of those, uh, but anyway, like that, that's, that's important. There's, there'd have been some stranded, uh, confused people and Bella Fix uh, took care of it. The, the LA folks, I think they have like six trucks here now. They're all over town. Uh, I mentioned, uh, I mentioned Corsa Pro, they had the booth there. Uh, Sierra Club had a booth for Saturday. Um, they're, 
they're cool. I'm going to do more with them next year. But the, the LA Sierra Club, like they actually do a lot with preservation in the Santa Monica Mountains, so like the area that we ride. And then last but definitely not least, um, we did of course have the whole family there. Emily was there uh, being a fun idiot at the, at the expo. Um, and the dogs were there. Bike Legal uh, was the, the dog sitter during the event. So people, their attraction to their booth was uh, getting a selfie with the creature. So I did throw the creature cam on at the end. What it's all about is just a big crew of people getting together over a shared love of bicycles and cookies and, and having a great time. It's, it's, it's an experience. Uh, it's a great day and a great weekend, and, uh, and I just want to thank everyone who, who made it that way. The, the people's attitude is part of it, and, uh, and it's, I'm, just, I'm just really proud of like, the human beings that we've collected um, and, and all the stuff that has to go into play to make that work, and me banging my head against it for, for months um, is, is all worth it. I, I, I have to, second best day of the year. I got married this year. Sorry. Can't compete with that. Um, but it, it was it was number two, and next year it'll be it'll be back to, to first. Uh, we do have uh, we have more events. We're adding um, we're doing another cookie camp that was fun. We had that last year, and that's like everything included. You just show up and and but the hotel, all the food, and we just have a whole weekend. And the rides are like a little bit more like, we'll have like ride leaders and stuff. Uh, we're doing one of those end of January, um, and then we have a gravel event. Um, I've been riding my gravel bike more. Um, and it's not going to be LA County because LA County is really hard to do stuff. It's going to be uh, Independence, California, like kind of Western themed. Well, maybe you'll camp out. Um, but there's really cool roads in the like Mount Whitney area. I did I did a road video there. Uh, the the gravel there is insane. Um, so we're going to have a whole experience there. That's the Whiskey Tango Fondo uh, coming soon. So there's yeah, there's more events, more stuff to come. Uh, appreciate the folks who showed up and and the folks who are watching to vicariously enjoy this. Um, now I can say on to the next thing, which uh, we're about to road trip to Mexico. Um, you know, we'll explain later. Peace. But uh, if you want to watch the, the rest of this, I'm just going to throw the creature cam footage because I don't know what else to do with it. But if you, it cracks me up. It just, it cracks. She sits under a table for us, the point where she like goes and finds Nala and, and they hang out. Um, there's one, you'll see.